Perhaps you could tell a story or two. I've seen an alien, and I know his name. He's called the Doctor. What sort of doctor? Who is he? The Doctor is a legend woven throughout history. It's a box. A blue box. She called it a TARDIS. Well, evidently, he's some sort of expert in extraterrestrial affairs, the ultimate expert. We need him, sir. When disaster comes, he's there. I'm the doctor, by the way. Oh, what's your name then, sweetheart? Who are you? Told you, the doctor. He is no one. No birth, no job, not the slightest kiss. Who are you? Who are you, though, doctor, really? Just a friend, passing through. I'm just a traveller, wandering past. I was just passing through. Believe it not, all I'm after is a quiet life. Tell me who you are! This is who I am, right here, right now, all right? All that counts is here and now, and this is me! I think he's immortal. Who are you, if not human? I think he's an alien from another world. Are you alien? Yes. Who's not human? He's not human. He's not human? Don't you ever get tired of Doctor? Doctor Who? Doctor Who? Just the Doctor. Nine centuries in, I'm coping. Hello? Hello? This is the Doctor speaking. I've come to help. I'm the Doctor. Is that why we're here? I mean, is, is that what you do? Jump in at the last minute and save the Earth? No fuss, he just moves on. It's not that bad if you gave him a chance. That's who I am. If he singled you out, if the Doctor's making house calls, then God help you. You could come with me. And I can feel it. We're falling through space, you and me. It's just you and me. Together? Yeah. Right then, Rose Tyler, you tell me, where do you want to go? This is the year 5.5 slash apple slash 26. Five billion years in your future. The fourth great and bountiful human empire. History. Bet you are. This is what I travel for, Rose, to see history happening right in front of us. You can go back and see days that are dead and gone. Hundred thousand sunsets ago. No wonder you never stay still. Not a bad life. When you say nine hundred years, that's my age. Two hearts. Where are you from? All over the place. I'm a long way from home. Perhaps a man only enjoys trouble when there's nothing else left. A little piece of home. From what planet? <laughs> well, it's not as if you know where it is. Where are you from? What does it matter? Identify his race. Where's he from? You think it'll last forever? People and cars and concrete. The metal machine had trouble identifying your species. One day it's all gone. Even the sky. Time Lord. What? The last of the Time Lords and his traveling machine. My planet's gone. It's just rocks and dust. You talked about a war? I fought in the war. It wasn't my fault. There was a war, and we lost. What war? The Time War. The final battle between my people and the Dalek race. The whole universe convulsed. I was there. But you survived too. Not by choice. I had no choice. And that's how you live with yourself. I watched it happen. I made it happen! That's how you slaughter millions. You destroyed us! I'm the last of the Time Lords. I'm the only one left. The Daleks destroyed my home, my people! I've got nothing left. They're all gone. They're all dead. Everyone lost. You saved your world. I couldn't save any of them. I couldn't. I wasn't. My people were destroyed, but they took the Daleks with them. I'm the only survivor. And the coward survived. My entire planet died. My whole family. Do you think it never occurred to me to go back and save them? I just want to say... How sorry I am. I'm left travelling on my own because there's no one else. It's me. Do you know like we were saying about the Earth revolving? That's the thing, if I don't dare, everyone dies. I can feel it. I mean, you lot, all you do is eat chips, go to bed and watch telly. While all the time underneath you, there's a war going on. You just want to drag the stars down and stick them underground underneath tons of sand and dirt and label them. You lot. You spend all your time thinking about dying. I think you're forgetting something. I'm the doctor, and if there's one thing I can do, it's talk. Don't shoot! Oh, don't be so thick, like I'm never gonna shoot. 
I've got five billion languages and you haven't got one way of stopping me. So if anybody's going to shut up, it's you! It's different, Les. It is different, yeah. It's a different morality. Get used to it or go home. And I give you a choice. I'm not here to kill it. I've got to give it a chance. Leave this planet or I'll stop. Not while I'm alive. <laughs> what? <laughs> you? Yes. Me. People have died, Cassandra. You murdered them. What did you do that for? It was scared! You know what they call me in the ancient legends of the Dalek homeworld? The oncoming storm. I've seen you fight your enemies. I know what you deserve. Exterminate. I'm gonna find my friends. And then I'm gonna find you. And that's fear. Because if I'm very clever, and I'm more than clever, I'm brilliant, I might just save the world. I'll rip it apart. Doesn't it just burn when you face me? My masters, they fear the doctor. Why don't you just die? If you want orders, follow this one. Go to your room! Kill yourself, and then I'm gonna save the Earth, and then, just to finish off, I'm gonna wipe every last stinking Dalek out of the sky! Don't worship me, I'd make a very bad god. How tough. Everything has its time and everything dies. Because this is my life, Jackie. It's not fun, it's not smart, it's just standing up and making a decision. Because nobody else will. But there's no one else coming, because there's no one else left. The whole universe is in danger if I let you live. Only a killer would know that. That's the decision I've got to make for every living thing. But you have no weapons, no defenses, no plan! Between you and me, I haven't got a plan. But that's why you're so dangerous. And doesn't that scare you to death? Stay with me, I promise I'll get you out alive. Playing with so many people's lives, you might as well be a god. You will destroy Daleks and humans together. Sorry. All things will die by your hand. Which makes you better than me, how, exactly? If I am God, the creator of all things, then what does that make you, Doctor? What about you, Doctor? What the hell are you changing into? Why should I? You never did. Coward. I win. How about that? Can it be that I have the world entirely wrong? I'm not wrong. There's just more to learn. There's a scientific explanation for that. You're thick. You have got to be kidding. I'm a doctor, by the way. Doctor? You look more like a navvy. What's wrong with this jumper? They'll never get in. And how do we get out? Ah. Charles Dickens, you're brilliant, you are. Completely, 100% brilliant. I've had them all. Great expectations, all the twists. Oh, could have been worse. Look at yeah. the ears. Raxicorico Falabatorius! I like bananas. Bananas are good. I, I've got a Sonic Oh, never mind. What? It's Sonic. OK, let's leave it at that. Disruptor cannon what? It's Sonic. Totally Sonic. I am Sonic to all. A Sonic what? A screwdriver! How fun of it. Sort of, yeah. You keep saying things that don't make sense. I can dance. I can dance. Look at me, I'm stupid. Little word of advice. Don't stand them against the lift. Funny little human brains. How do you get around in those things? Fantastic. Fantastic. This is fantastic. Fantastic. You're not making sense. I might never make sense again. I might have two heads or no head. <laughs> I'm really glad that worked. It's been fun. I'm so glad I met you. Me too. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. And if you want to remember me, then you can do one thing. Everybody lives, Rose. Have a good life. Just this once! Everybody lives! And everybody lives, Rose. Everybody lives! My doctor. Time Lords have this little trick. It's, it's all the way of cheating death. You never know what you're going to end up. Before I go, I just want to tell you, you were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. And you know what? So was I. <laughs>